uh, units. So when they when they get that, that that assignment notice that you're going to Hawaii, they don't immediately think, well, I can't go there. I've got a lot of teenagers, and I hear the schools are bad. Mm -hmm. This is contrary to that. So and we, and we can share much. some um, more condensed versions of this that it might be a little easier to share. Thank you. Any further comments, questions? Board Member Bergen. And I just wanted to share with you that <clears throat> there was some information shared with the meeting with um, Deputy uh, Keith Conshiro today telling us about the prospect of getting our kids, instead of just dual credit, getting um, their, their first two years of college credit so that they can enter school, uh, college, as juniors. And to me, look at the cost savings for our families, and that is remarkable. I am so excited to hear that news. Thank you. Thank you. Any further comments, questions? I do want to thank you again for your presentation. It's played well out in the, uh, the media, the press. Uh, I saw um, today's uh, news and TV, and I thought, again, um, the publicity is out there, but you can always use more. So if we can help uh, pass out the word, as Colonel Santa Ana uh, suggested, let us, let us know. Thank you. Thank you for your good work. Thanks. Okay, and before I uh, ask for a motion to move to executive session, I want to recognize uh, Sione Thompson, our executive director of the Public Charter School Commission Board. Thanks for coming to our meetings. We are now moving on to the executive session. Oh, sorry. Yes, oh, sorry. I also want to recognize uh, Interim Deputy Superintendent Keith Hayashi. Thank you for attending our meeting. Okay. So before we move on to executive session, we'll again accept public testimony before going into executive session. Mahalo Chair. Linda Elento. because my Jason or my son Jason Elento, he needed help. I'm also here for all the um, other students in Hawaii who have um, disabilities and I know I like to come here a lot because I have something to say but I it's been hard to find people to help and um, my son right now currently goes to Kailua High School. I got to hear part of the, um, the presentations on, online on the phone on the way here got bits and pieces of it, but one word that came to my mind what, or what I heard was of opportunities. Um, I'll show you what opportunity my son has gotten this year at Kaila High School. His schedule, every block says CC alternate assessment. Last year, I, or at the beginning of the school year, I got a card of all the different classes that are offered to ninth graders. Well, I still have it because they wouldn't let me fill it out and sign them up for anything. Um, a couple weeks ago, there was a substitute, but I didn't know it. He came to school with a backpack with toys. Okay, um, no aid. His normal aid wasn't there to help get him out of the car, and I forgot to switch his black iPad with the toys. Well, it came back with a note from the substitute, and it says, "Which is nice. It's our communication log, and it wrote back, and it says something I did great today." So the teacher fills it in. She wrote. He put his playthings back into his backpack. Now what else was unusual about this? He had several of these and notice it has marker all over it. It didn't have marker all over it when he got to school. So he got markers at school and in front of a sub or maybe nobody because he doesn't have a need because the district educational specialist didn't approve of it. I can go on and on and on. I know my time is limited, but can somebody take note of all of this? What opportunity are we giving my kid? Okay, behaviors or not. You've been diagnosed with autism, you've got a budget, I brought this up two weeks ago. You think a penny of it's being spent on my kid? No. I'm here to, because one of the, um, the other items on the agenda is waivers for um, this, the school community councils are asking for waivers and one being, you know, take some kids away, days away from the kids and give it for um, teacher development. What are we teaching our teachers? 
Okay, I used to teach teachers at community schools. I loved it, and it was many years ago. I had something to share. Well, I also have something now to share, as well as a lot of parents who have to do our own research. In particular, a child with Down syndrome comes to a table of experts. Well, you guys are experts in education. Well, guess what still has not come to my table? Is any expert who happens to know anything special about a child born with Down syndrome? I bring, I, I brought to a table last week to another friend's IEP meeting and it had to do with speech. I know I've got one more minute, right? Okay. Um, speech therapist says, well, we're going to cut minutes in half again because there's no research that says she's going to help her. Well, this kid's also deaf um, or deaf hearing loss. She's got hearing loss. But hearing needs on her, it helps. But she's still deaf. Okay. Or, Hearing loss is what is the best word to use here. She's used signing, but do you think their teachers know how to sign? Of course not, because they haven't been trained. <laughs> and the ones that they have had over the years leave. And um, anyway, but what I was getting back to was I shared a report that had already been shared with the with the with the team. And the teacher or the special or the speech therapist says there's no reason to give this child or motor therapy. And then I said, well, this report that's already been presented, it was a private assessment done over a year ago. It said oral motor therapy is typically not something of choice. It's not been researched to show that it helps, except in the case of a child who has low hypotonia, which is very common with children like mine. So where does that research go? I brought it to, the, actually the, the parent brought it to the table. I reiterated it right in front of her eyeballs who, who said she had actually read the report. Well, it's in black and white. She didn't bring it to the table. So I hope this is something that gets you attention because when he brought home his first samples of work like I've been asking for, the worksheets were written in pencil, handwritten by the teacher or aide, whoever decided to write his homework. Or it wasn't homework, it was schoolwork. And he wrote the answers in yellow marker. I may have mentioned that a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm in Paul. There's no other word for it. Anyway, I like all your eyeballs looking at me, and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. No further testimony at this time, Chair. Thanks, Gina. So, uh, may I entertain a motion for uh, going to executive session? All in favor? Okay, motion is approved. We're going to executive session. As a reminder, please turn off your microphones. As a reminder, turn on.